Brenda's two-year-old granddaughter's life was tragically cut short after the child mysteriously fell ill. And after the autopsy report revealed something more sinister, the child's death was ruled a homicide. Oh. Now the child's mother, Ashley, is fighting to prove that she did not kill her daughter. Take a look. I came here to support my daughter, actually. Her daughter got killed. And I would really like to know what really happened to her. She was only two years old when she got killed. Last June, my daughter went to a friend of hers house, took three of her kids. They came back the next day. My granddaughter was just violently ill. At first, we thought she just had a virus. Time went on and on. They didn't get any better. So told her, call the EMS so it can get the kids to the hospital. But by that time, Michaela, she was fading away, dying. She was dying and we didn't even know she was dying and don't even know what happened to her. What happened? On June 24th, I went to a friend's house. He didn't have any food, so I asked him if he would, you know, watch them until I go and get some food. He said, sure. So I went to go get something to eat. It took about 20 minutes, you know, for me to get back because I was walking. My son, he threw up. I was thinking, like, okay, he's sick. He has a stomach virus. Then after that, I got home. My daughter, she threw it up. So that's when I took it upon myself to, you know, go to the store, and I got some Pedialyte, and I was like, you know how you, I was like giving it to them on and off and on and off, and then, you know, after that, they took a little nap, and then I was like cleaning around the house, and then after that, I keep throwing up, so I was like, okay, it's time to go to the hospital. So I gave them like a sponge, I sponged them off, and then I got them dressed, and then after that, I put it, my daughter on my lap, and that's when I gave her the, I gave her the Pedialyte, and it just, came back out of the road, and that's when I called the paramedic. They came, and then I was like, okay, how is she doing? Is she okay? They're not saying anything. So that's when I see the EMT, they came out crying. So that's when, that's when I really knew something was wrong. And then after an hour later, they tell me she passed away. And they obviously did an autopsy at some point on it, right? Right, they did an autopsy. What did she die from? She died, she died I think she, she, she was stumped. And she had a busted colon and like fracture inside of her stomach. And you were questioned by the police, right? Yes. And you were cleared? Yes. Mm -hmm. No, he was like, being, I guess being the fact that the, my daughter, she passed away at, inside of my house. So basically I'm under investigation. Still? Still. When, and how long ago this happened? It happened June 26th. Of last year? Yes. Um, has anybody been charged with this crime? No. You have no idea what happened to your daughter? No. Or your I, son? No. I thought, at first, I thought they had a stomach virus until, you know, my daughter passed yeah, away. Yeah, but now that you know, you know, uh, I can't believe this little girl didn't say anything to you. Like, this person jumped up and kicked no. me in the stomach or stopped me? Um, I haven't seen my kids ever since my daughter passed away. And now they're talking about um, taking away my par parental rights. And How many children did they take away? Four, and my daughter passed away. So you had five children? Yes. The one passed away. Well, one pet didn't pass away. She was murdered. Correct. Um, and then because of this incident, they took your other four children away. Correct. Last year, right after your daughter passed away. Correct. How, uh, how tough is that, not having your kids? It's very tough. It's very emotional. I feel like I've lost a lot. But uh, just so I'm clear, you didn't witness anything? No. Okay. And your, both your children, because of the ages you told me, they're, they were verbal, right? Mm-hmm. They talk to you every day? Yes. They can tell you if something bad happened to them? Yes. Ashley, I believe you didn't kill your kid. I trust in you. I know you loved those kids like no one ever loved them. Yet. All I want to know, God, is the truth, if I can, for we can move on with our life. 
What's so disturbing is when I see a picture of your granddaughter, I see a beautiful, happy girl. She's right? loving you. Right. And I wonder what was going through whoever's mind that stomped this little girl to death. What, 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 what was going through their mind that they needed to end this little girl's life? Lord, I wish I had known. So, I, and I want to believe that the mother wouldn't do this. No. She's got five kids. I don't believe that she's doing this. I would assume that at some point, if you are cleared in this police investigation, is there any chance that you're going to get your four kids back? I hope. Has anybody said anything to you? Uh, they just say that um, they're trying to set up a court date so they can put them up for adoption. <laughs> so they're basically telling you you're not going to get your kids back. It's just a, a tragic story all the way around. All right, Ashley, uh, mm -hmm. you came here and you took a lie detector test. And we asked you, did you cause any of those fatal injuries to your daughter? You answered no. Did you witness anyone injure your daughter before her death? You answered no. Um, the results of your lie detector test is that you told the truth. The sad thing is, uh, like, again, not only did one child, for, you, I don't care, nobody could ever explain that to me, why this little girl lost her life and why a little boy suffered a beating, uh, a stomping, and has, and, and who, let's hope, I mean, at, at his age, though, I got to imagine, he might have some memories of that for the rest of his life. And then these children, everything they've ever known, a grandmother, a mother, is gone. All I'll say, um, I don't know what this does for you. I hope it gives you something. Um, but I would hope that when you go back home that law enforcement eventually finds out who did this. And I got to imagine they got it narrowed down pretty good. Mm -hmm. Just from the story you tell me, I can't imagine there's a lot of suspects here that whoever did this certainly pays by spending the rest of their life behind bars. Um, so, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how you ever, I don't know how any parent recovers from losing a child. Uh, and it's sad enough in this world where, you know, children, we lose them to accidents and disease and, and things of that. But to lose a child because somebody felt like taking their foot and stomping their life out of them, to me, that is just so horrific. There's no, no explanation for that. There's no reason for that. Um, I hope that you'll have the strength to move forward. And if the legal system finds that you had you know, no involvement in what this ever, I would hope that someday you get your kids back. Good luck to you. It was nice game.